is a beautiful country. It faces many challenges. China has a long story. It is ready to conquer the future. Vietnamese people have to work very hard. The national economy will not grow. Learning English is a must for most young people of Asia. It is a ticket to the success in the future. The people of Myanmar encounter many difficulties. They do not lose hope. The young people of Asia are not afraid of the future. They are not worried despite the uncertainties. Hello, I am Jean from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. And this is TLC's English in 3 minutes. Using conjunctions is an important part of being fluent and proficient in English. A conjunction is the glue that holds words, phrases, and clauses together. Today, we will learn about coordinating conjunctions. These are conjunctions that connect words, phrases, and clauses that are coordinate or equal to each other. There are seven coordinating conjunctions. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. When combining clauses, we use a comma then these conjunctions. For example, Congo is in Africa. I had to travel for two days to get to the Philippines. You can combine these two sentences using ends to form a more fluid and natural sounding sentence. Congo is in Africa and I had to travel for two days to get to the Philippines. Here are the other coordinating conjunctions and their functions. Myanmar is a beautiful country, but it faces many challenges. China has a long history, and it is ready to conquer the future. Vietnamese people have to work very hard or the national economy will not grow. Learning English is a must for most young people of Asia, for it is a ticket to their success in the future. The people of Myanmar encounter many difficulties, yet they do not lose hope. The young people of Asia are not afraid of the future, nor are they worried despite the uncertainties. Thank you very much for listening. I am Jeanne and this is CLC's English in 3 minutes. Bye!